With the recent addition of Pokemon Flashfire, Furious Fist, Phantom Forces, and Primal Clash, many new Pokemon decks have been introduced. These new decks, such as Primal Groudon, Primal Kyogre, and Donphan, have flattened the playing field and have slowed some very popular powerhouse decks down. This has given new life to many new doubted decks. So, will Gengar EX decks become more popular? Let's find out in this Gengar EX deck profile. The main strategy of this deck revolves around Gengar's second attack, Dark Corridor. This attack does 60 damage, poisons your opponent's Pokemon, active Pokemon, and switches your Pokemon, Gengar, with the bench Pokemon. Pair this with an item lock Trevenant card, or Sigilyph, and Gengar EX can be pretty annoying. As far as the Pokemon lineup, I prefer to max out on Gengar EXs as it's our main attacker. The switches in this deck list are Sigilyph and Trevenant. We'll be switching into them. Because Gengar poisons the opponent, there is a 1 1 poison lock Dragology in here as well. The support lineup in this deck is pretty staple, and the item cards in this deck isn't very different from most other decks. There are two Evo Sodas in this deck to try to get the Trevenants out on turn 2 or 3. And with two bicycles, this deck can move pretty quickly. To contrast Gengar's e EX's low damage output, this deck contains two Muscle Bands and three Burbank City Gyms to stack more damage. To round this deck list out, there are 13 energy in this entire deck. Seven of them are basic psychic energy, and four are double color ghost energy. But this deck is still just a deck list, so how does this deck pair out against other decks? You wouldn't have to look very far to realize that Gengar EX deck variants will get hammered by Evil Tall Dark Ride right X because of Gengar and Trevenant's weakness to Dark Pokemon. The only way to really beat an Evil Tall deck would be a Trevenant going quickly, probably on turn 2. Fortunately, this deck can perform fairly well against every other deck. Locking item cards completely destroys decks such as Night March, Seismitoad, Donphan, and Landorus Crobat. Pyro, pyro can be an issue, but it's not very commonly played as much as it used to be. Overall, Gengar EX is a fairly underestimated deck, and it can be fairly strong in tournaments if it plays against the right decks. So, even though Gengar EX has not seen very much competitive play, it can still be a, a threat against the right decks. Hey guys, Bob Radroid here. Thanks for watching. I appreciate all of your support. And I just wanted to say that um, I appreciate everyone that watches these videos. Uh, make sure to follow my Twitter page. Click the YouTube button if you are interested in subscribing. And I will catch you guys later.